In bygone days, the New York, New Jersey Harbor area once served up huge oysters. Sadly, those shellfish are rarely found around those parts anymore. But now, one experimental project is underway to help restore the oyster population in the Raritan Bay. Environment correspondent Ed Rogers has the story. Crews from the New York, New Jersey Baykeeper and Rutgers University are placing artificial reef structures made of rebarb, iron, and other materials into the Keyport Harbor waters. The idea is to build what are called vertically accreting reefs. One of the reasons we decided to use the structures was because the area we're working in is very high energy due to waves and current. And so if you just put loose shell down, the, it, they disperse. And that's the only way they're really moving. So we wanted to keep them in this contained area. And in order to do that, that's why we're using the, the structures. This is the first time the structures have been used in the Northeast. The project will cover a quarter acre and is the largest in-ground restoration project attempted. Oyster larvae are placed on mesh bags attached to the structures or to reef balls that are also being lowered. Oyster larvae grow on the clamshells inside. So if you look through the mesh, oyster, 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 anything that's vertically coming off the clamshell shows us a great oyster set on these clams. Once the oysters grow, they'll help filter the waters in the bay, improving quality. The structures also provide habitat for other marine life. There's a little crab um, showing the value of oysters as a habitat. Oyster harvesting pretty much ended in the bay in the 1940s. There have been efforts for the last 10 years to repopulate the waterway. Overharvesting, pollution, and sediment deposited from nearby on-land development is blamed. We don't want the species to become extinct in New York Harbor. And that's really the kind of brink that we're on right now. And so restoration efforts like this, even though they're pilot, I think are critical to understanding more large-scale oyster restoration um, efforts in, in the harbor. A couple thousand oysters are expected to populate this reef. If this experimental project is successful, it will be used in other parts of the Hudson Raritan Bay complex. Our hope is that as the water quality improves, um, we'll be able to locate additional reefs along the bay shore in the harbor, and it'll act as a necklace of reefs. So when the oysters spawn, they'll be able to find a hard substrate to set onto these reefs and then continue to um, come back into the harbor. Ed Rogers, NJN News, Keyport.